Here it is guys, the best from Sony, the best from Samsung, the Sony Xperia XS, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Can't get much better than this, so let's get started. Now, both these phones are brand new. It is worth noting that with Sony, they are coming out with the Sony Xperia XE Premium in the next few weeks. However, this is still the best Sony phone currently on the market. Now, between these two, you, uh, you do a better internal specs on the Samsung. You have the Snapdragon 835 and 40 bytes RAM. For the Sony Snapdragon 824 as well. However, the upcoming Xperia XE Premium will have the Snapdragon 835 as well. Alright guys, so the Samsung easily win the boot up test here. And Sony up as well. So these are both gorgeous phones. Let's take a look at the design first. Now, front facing camera on the Sony is definitely better. 13 megapixels versus 8. Uh, much better stabilization. Better for recording videos especially. Now, in terms of design, I do prefer the Samsung. And you guys can tell here, massive screen on it. 6.2 inches versus 5.2 for the Sony. And also on the Samsung, nearly bezel with screen display. Insanely small bezels there on the top and on the sides. Versus the Sony. Now on the Sony, you do have dual, uh, dual front facing speakers, so that is an advantage, but also larger bezels. All right, and a look at the bottom of the phones. So USB-C on both. Look at the side. So fingerprint scan on the side for the Sony. Look at the top. And the other side. And then back. So pretty different materials here for the Sony. You have metal on the back. And on the Samsung you have glass. A really gorgeous design on both. And in terms of rear facing camera. So 12 megapixels on the Samsung. 19 on the Sony. Uh, did take a video recording last night. Comparison you can check out on the channel. And we'll have a lot more in the future as well, including pictures. And then for Samsung, fingerprint scanner located right here. Really do not like the positioning of that. Don't even use it, honestly, in day-to-day -day use. But nonetheless, two beautiful looking phones. And let's see how fast they are. All right, so you guys see everything close on them both. Still not used to the button beyond that side. Uh, recent app. But as you guys see, everything is closed on them both. Alright, so first up we got a game. We got Temple Run 2. Now this is a great matchup because Samsung obviously has better internal specs. However, Sony phones always extremely well optimized. But you see here, no contest with the Snapdragon 835. Easily beating uh, the Sony in this first test. Let's check out more of the apps though. So next up we got NBC News. Alright, so it looks like Samsung there. I funny next. Alright, so Sony here. YouTube. Oops, sorry guys, butchered that one. There's one of my videos, you guys want to check it out. Just close that and go back in. Alright, YouTube next. Alright, so you guys saw Sony there. Uh, calculator clock. Clock next. Yeah, so Samsung looks like there's a tiny bit of lag when you click on the apps. Uh, let's see eBay. All right, so Sony again here. So Sony actually doing pretty well so far. Um, let's do. Let's do uh, our second game here, Asphalt Eight. And we'll be doing it to the benchmark. Uh, just gotta bring the app over though. All right, so again, you're seeing this uh, power to Snapdragon 835 here. Samsung beating the Sony for Ash 40. Let's do photos next. 
I think that was pretty close. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. ESPN. All right, so this app a lot of times has difficulties voting up. Give it, okay, it looks like the Sony's going to be the first one to vote this up. But yeah, a lot of times this app does have difficulties. And you guys just saw right there at the end, Samsung started voting it up. Um, let's do N2 to benchmark next. Oh, actually, settings, and then we'll do into do. All right, again, pretty close. I took my outfit, so let me know in the comments. Uh, next up, into the benchmark. All right, guys, so you do have a higher score here on the Samsung. You see here, 168,000 versus 153. And for the Samsung, this is going to be the highest that you see on the Android. All right, so you guys see right there. And a lot of people say that uh, Apple phones better optimized for this app. So not sure how true that is, but regardless, it is the fastest on Android. All right, next up, let's do some web browsing. All right, guys, we're going to do a few sites. Let's do ITN.com first. All right, so Sony winning this one. Let's do Nintendo next. Town.com. Again, Sony here. I mean, the Sony is really the fastest I've seen for any phone for web browsing. Uh, let's do Zelda. Zelda.com. All right, so again, Sony here. Uh, let's do IMDb. All right, so again, Sony here. And let's do one last one. Let's do Yahoo. All right. Oops, messed that one up. But yeah, guys, I mean, you get the point. The Sony is definitely faster web browsing. Now, if I go back to some of those sites, like, for example, let's go to IGN. IGN.com. So you guys see here, extremely fast reloading it on the Sony. And let me just show you another one just for another example. So we'll go to Nintendo. Nintendo.com. So yeah, I mean, Sony, they really do an excellent job of keeping the site there. Or rather, of uh, keeping the data there. And I'll show you guys one final one. Let's just let's just go back to Zelda.com again. Just to hammer, uh, hammer, home, hammer home this point. So yeah, extremely fast there on the Sony. Again, do not think that the Sony web browsing can be beat. All right, so I would do fingerprint scanner, but unfortunately on the Sony, uh, since I have the American version, is deactivated. If I upgrade to UK, if I got the UK firmware, I could use it, but don't really feel like doing that. Now on the Samsung, again, it's on the back here. Really don't like the placement of it. Um, I'll show you guys a little later in the video how it works, but... I personally, I just use the pin. I, I don't really like using it. And for the Samsung, so they do have iris scan to do a facial recognition if you want to use those instead. But again, don't really like using them. All right, so next up, we got our cactus back and we're gonna take some pictures. So keep in mind for this, Sony is higher megapixels, 19 versus 12. So maybe a little bit slower taking pictures, but that's what the point of this test is, just how fast they are. All right, so obviously Sony has a longer shutter, uh, shutter speed there in terms of what you're actually seeing with the black, but I don't think much of a difference. Let me know in the comments. Maybe the Samsung will be faster though. Yeah, actually I think Samsung is a little bit faster, I can tell now. And again, guys, if you want to check out that video, low lighting, video test for both these, go ahead and check out the channel. And we'll be having a lot more comparisons in the future. All right, so the part of a lot of you really want to see, some multitasking.
And before that, let's real quick go over the specs. So on Xperia, 5.2 inch screen, 424 pixels per inch. On, on the Galaxy 6.2, 529 pixels per inch. 13 megapixel front facing camera and 19 megapixel rear facing camera on the Sony versus 8 and 12 for the Samsung. Um, in terms of internal storage, 32 or 64 gigabytes and micro SD card support for the XCS. Uh, 64 gigabytes for the Samsung, both do a micro SD card support. Uh, 2900 capacity battery for the Sony, 3500 for the Samsung. Snapdragon 820 and 4 gigabytes RAM for the Sony. Snapdragon uh, 835 and 4 gigabytes RAM for the Samsung. So this is the world's first phone to actually release that has Snapdragon 835. Sony Xperia XE Premium was the first one announced with the Snapdragon 835. Uh, Sony does have stereo speakers, Samsung is not. And both phones are waterproof, both USB-C. Alright guys, so here we go. Let's get started. We got Tumper on 2 first. Alright, so excellent sign, neither phone eroding it. Although Sony was a little bit faster bringing that up. As I usually say, most phones will reload that app. But obviously these aren't most phones. These are better than most phones. NBC News next. Oops, I don't think I clicked on the Sony. Actually, both still refreshing here. So it's going to give it a couple seconds. Okay, so yeah, even though I clicked on it later on the Sony, it was still the first one to load it up. I funny. Sony. YouTube. Alright guys, sorry about that. My phone ran out of storage. Um, but I did run a few apps that you guys didn't see, unfortunately. So I'm just going to click on them again. The first one was YouTube. And originally Sony did win that. And as you guys saw this one again. Uh, next one was iFunny. No, actually, iFunny we clicked on previously was eBay Next. So, again, you guys see Sony there. And these are also far the same results as when I originally recorded it. Uh, let's do Chrome. So, again, Sony there, but obviously X one on both. I'm recording this with the uh, Xperia uh, Z5. So, it only has 32 gigabytes internal storage. All right. So Asphalt 8 there. Um, again, slight advance for the Sony, although very close on both. Let's do a couple that I did not click on previously. So let's do Photos. All right, so you guys saw Sony there. ESPN. Again, Sony there. I mean, you guys get the point. Sony a little bit faster here web browsing. Or rather at multitasking. Let's click on camera. And we'll do one or two more and I'll give my final thoughts. Let's go ahead and do and to do. So again, very slight advantage here for Sony, but obviously both exceptional. Can't really get bet, uh, much better multitasking than this. All right, and just a couple more. Let's do. We'll try Temper on two again. So again, neither one reloading it. Great sign, and we'll do one final one. Let's do, let's do Chrome. You know, I think I already clicked on it, but whatever, let's click on it again. And before I give you my final thoughts, guys, let me show you the Figment Scanner on the Samsung. So again, look at here on the back. It is pretty hard to reach, um, especially if you're right-handed like me. You have to reach all the way across. Very easy to hit the camera lens there. Oops. All right, try it again. Even for demonstration purposes, guys, I, I don't, I mean, maybe you guys are disagree, but I really don't know how people can use this, especially on, a, on the S8 Plus where it's larger. But you know what? For Sony, I mean, in America, they don't even release it. Uh, it's not even activated here. So <laughs> I guess for Americans, it's, 
advantage Samsung there, but probably for the rest of the world, I think Sony, just because of the placement. I mean, aside from that, the Fumit scanner mostly seems fine. It's just the placement on it, really not ideal. But I, I guess some people could disagree with that. Now guys, in terms of this test, so I thought it was pretty close. I think actually the Sony probably did win this one. And I say that because the one, the web browsing, didn't win the multitasking by a little bit, although both were excellent there. Um, I think it won most of the general apps as well. But now with the Samsung, you are going to get better performance in games, as you guys saw with this phone, loading up games quicker, also faster boot up time overall, um, and higher in tuner score as well. So yeah, guys, I think in terms of day to day use, the Sony actually might be a little bit faster for a lot of things. Because Sony, they really will optimize their phones. There's very little bloatware on it. Obviously, Samsung has a thicker layer coat on the UI. I think that makes a little bit of difference here. But again, in terms of gaming, you will be getting better performance on the Samsung. But I think that makes a really interesting matchup for the upcoming Sony Xperia X Premium, which will have the Snapdragon 835 as well. All right, everyone. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. You can do it by clicking right here in the top left corner. Or you can watch another video by clicking in the bottom right corner. Alright guys, thanks again, and I do have a lot more videos planned, so please check them out.